A federal judge right here in New York has restored DACA and ordered the Department of Homeland Security to accept first-time applicants from immigrants. So what does that mean? When Donald Trump came into the White House, what he did was he stopped young men and women who would have otherwise been eligible for DACA from applying for DACA if they had not already done so. He also tried to wind down the entire DACA program. He also prevented DACA recipients from getting some benefits that they were getting under Barack Obama, such as advanced parole travel, to travel home to, for a short period of time and come back. The federal judge has ordered DACA to go back to what it was pre-Donald Trump. So mm. if you had qualified for DACA, but you just never got around to applying for it, you can still do it now. What do you need? Oh. You need to either have a GED, have a high school diploma, or be in a GED program. That's number one. Number two, you had to be under the age of 16 and in the United States on June 15th, 2007. Number three, you had to be under the age of 31 on June 15th, 2012. If you qualify under those scenarios, you would most likely, unless you have some sort of criminal record that would prevent you from getting benefits, you would most likely, well, you definitely would be, get your DACA. What is DACA? DACA is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. It's a promise from the U.S. government not to deport you. They give you a work permit. With the work permit, you can get a social security number. You can get a driver's license. You can now get advanced parole. Even if you were, even if you were already denied advanced parole, you already have DACA and you were denied, you should try it again now because now you're going to be able to do so. And the reason why is because the head of the Department of Homeland Security, uh, everything the federal judge says, everything he's doing is illegal. Why? Because he was never confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Donald Trump put him That's into enough. the head of the Department of Homeland Security, but never, he just didn't care. He just said, you know what, you're never going to get confirmed by the Senate. And because he never got confirmed by the Senate, everything that comes out of the Department of Homeland Security in terms of regulation changes, they're all getting struck down by judges. And when you think about it, the federal judge that struck it down was appointed by Bill Clinton. These days, Donald Trump, one of, one of the things that the Republicans are most proud about what Donald Trump did is he installed about 150 federal judges. If you don't think that matters, that matters. The DAPA program, right. the Deferred Action for Parent Arrivals, that was the program that Obama did that allowed parents who had children here the same benefits as the DACA recipients. That was struck down in Texas by Republican judges. Here, DACA in New York was reaffirmed by Democratic judges. So if you don't mm. think that who the president is and who they get to put in to judgeships is not important, it is. You know, there could be, you know, arguments one way or the other to say, you know, because once you're a judge, you're a judge for life. Yeah. You know, maybe a judge should have term limits. Yep. The reason for term limits would be is because, you know, maybe you shouldn't be a judge for life, number one. Right. Number two, because you are a judge for life, you know, after you get past 50 years old, you can be a very, very well-qualified judge maybe the best qualified judge, but no one's going to nominate you because the president wants to have lasting impact. So why would they mm -hmm. nominate a judge who's closer to retirement or death? They all, right. you know, you're all nominating young people. So if you notice, yeah. even the two people who were nominated to the Supreme Court by President Trump, Kavanaugh and uh, Amy Comey Barrett, both were under, are or, young. Amy Comey Barrett's under 50, and I think Brett Kavanaugh may well be too. And if he's not under 50, he's maybe 51 or 52. Very, both very, very right. young. But what's most important is, you know, because I already spoke to three clients whose children never applied for DACA, and now they'll be able to. So that's really nice. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.